But sadly, my voice isn't. I'm Jensen Yannicka, and I am this week's host of Fifth Block Prom Edition. First, let's hit the halls of RCHS with a segment called, How Did You Get Asked to Prom? So, Abby, how did you get asked to prom? Um, it was Grey's Anatomy themed. I got a card that said, uh, Abby, I'm no McSteamy, but night would be McDreamy if you were my person at prom. And I got flowers, too. It was really, really cute. Oh, that's so sweet. And here's a shot of Mr. Ryden walking down the hallway. So majestic. <laughs> so majestic. Look at him. He's getting closer. Oh, you cheated? I'm so disappointed. No, I think I really did guess it. <laughs> you did, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Ryden, how did you get asked to prom? Well, I begged, and I begged, <laughs> and I begged, and then I didn't go. This hurts to talk about. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am here with Miss Moose. I heard you had a prom proposal in your room. Would you describe that for us? I did. I had a senior um, propose prom to another senior. Um, he started off with a sign that he had made and a bouquet of flowers, which we hid. Um, I had a song ready to go on a um, tape player for a friend to have available. So. When she walked into the room, he was standing there with his sign asking her to prom. Um, when she said yes, she got the flowers, and then there was the musical soundtrack and the applause from the audience afterwards. And that is very adorable. Thank you so much. How did you ask your date to prom? I texted her. Oh. <laughs> Aw, those were pretty cute ideas. And if you haven't asked anyone to prom yet, well, you have one day, but now you have some pretty good ideas. Now, let's talk with Tina about tying ties. <laughs> let's totally talk. Hello, and welcome to this week's Talking Time with Tina. Today's topic is not a topic at all. It's a tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to tie a tie with Tina. Okay, so first... You have to take a tie, obviously. And then you have your date or whoever you want to practice on. And you drape the tie around the neck, like so. And then you crisscross it somehow. And then you pull it like this. Then, because it's so long, you want to wrap it around once or twice, if it'll, okay. And now, all you have left to do is straighten it. And voila, now you have a nice tie and a nice looking date. Thank you for tuning in to How to Tie a Tie with Tina. And also, thank you to Mr. Powell for letting me borrow Timmy, Tony, Tyler, whatever. See you later. That was a tongue twister. Thanks, Tina. I took some totally terrific notes. Now, let's see if Coach Flanagan has any pickup lines for this flirty edition of the Table of Contents. Hi, welcome to the prom edition of the Table of Contents with Mr. Flanagan. Today, Mr. Flanagan will give us six pickup lines to get a prom date. Hello, RCHS. Uh, I'm here to help. This will be six pickup lines to get a prom date. Number one, 
Excuse me, miss. Can I have the time? I check my watch, but I can't take my eyes off you. Number two, my love for you is a lot like diarrhea. <laughs> I can't hold it in. Number three would be, here I am. What are your other two wishes? Number four, if girls were boogers, I'd pick you first. Number five, is your name Summer? Because you're sure hot. And number six, hey, somebody farted. Let's get out of here. Those pickup lines will work great on your prom date or not. And here we are with one of our fellow RCH students, Hunter Wyatt. Hunter, what are you going to do for your prom date? On prom night? On prom night. Well, I plan on getting some pictures taken. I may even walk across to the car and open the door for her to get out. Well, isn't that just sweet? Okay. We're going to go eat at Montana Mike's. You know, got to get romantic. I'll probably try to get some candles, maybe some flowers. That's all I'm going to do on prom night. Okay. Hello, I'm Dre Puckett here with David. David in his colorful shirt. You're welcome. David, I got a couple questions for you. First one is, on prom night, what are you going to do for your date? Well, I'm going to dance with her, so it's prom night. So That's creative. Yeah. What's the worst date you've ever been on? I haven't been on a bad date before. Well, you just made some, some kind of fun, aren't you? Are you just a ball of fun? Yes. Hello. I am Zach Morris, here with Miss Rusk. What would you do for your prom date? Put a smile on his face. I would style his hair and tie his shoes for him. <laughs> aren't you the sweetest? <laughs> and we're here right now with a live Desiree on the loose. <laughs> Desiree, we got a couple questions for you. This is Kai Brown, also known as Des or Desiree. Des, what are you going to do on prom night? Stop, she said. That's a creative one. Des, what's the worst date you've ever been on? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. She can't stop laughing. That must have been a horrible date. All right, and here we are again, seeing a wild Des in our wild school. DK, what is the worst date you have ever been on? Well, one time, I was feeling like some KFC. So, <laughs> we wouldn't hit it up. Got all the way there. And notice it had already got shut down. <laughs> so. That's rough luck. DK, my good friend, maybe someday we'll get a KFC open for you and name it Dylan Klingler's KFC. All right. It's my dream. It's my dream. All right. This is me and DK. It's my dream. This is our DK interview. What is the worst date you have ever been on? Well, this one time I went on a date with a guy and he surprised me with a stuffed cat. Date. Wrong move, Mr. Rusk. <laughs> <laughs> that was a deal. Or I have I, I, this one was this one was with my husband. I went to his house for a date and um, I get there and his parents are out of town. And I'm all dressed up, and he informs me that there is a cow having a calf out in the pasture, and I have to put rubber boots on, and I'm out there in nice dress clothes, and he is carrying the calf that's just been born across the pasture in the freezing cold, and I have a, a cane, and I'm feeding the mother on the nose. Hello, I'm Trey Puckett, here with the one and only Kai Stoward. Kai, what are you planning to do for your prom date on prom night? I don't know. <laughs> that's a classic, Kai, that's a classic. <laughs> Kai, what's the worst date you've ever been on? I don't know. Trey is going to show us how not to dance at prom. How not to dance at prom. Hey, baby girl. Got your piece of vanilla cake. Just say you the dance floor with me. Do a little bump and grind in. Oh. Hey, little mamas. You ladies hungry? Yeah. You wanna make a tray sandwich? <laughs> alright, alright kids. Leave about a foot for the imagination. Make sure to 
prime time. Thanks for the tips, Trey. Now remember, that is how not to dance at prom. Thanks for tuning in to Fifth Block Prom Edition. I wish you all a memorable and safe prom. See you on the dance floor. Hello, I'm Zach Morris here with Miss Rusk. Miss Rusk, I have a. <laughs> oh, goodness, start this. Hello, I'm Zach Morris here with Miss Rusk. Miss Rusk, got a couple questions for you. I forgot. 